hi welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to explain how to make two raspberry pi communicate between each other at the end of this tutorial uh, we will control the led attached to one pi uh, using the switch attached to a different pi so let's get started log into aws management console and the first thing we will do is create the aws thing Once you logged in, type IoT in the search box, click on IoT Core. From the AWS IoT console, click on Manage from the left menu. First time if you have never created anything, so your page may be empty, click on Create button. We are going to create a single thing, just click on the button. We have to give a name to our thing, we are going to call it LED. Leave everything else as is and click on next. Now we need to create the certificates so that your device or Raspberry Pi in our example uh, will be able to talk to your thing. Just click on that. And it will be creating four different certificates for you one is certificate for the thing second public key and private key and also you need a CS root certificate I would recommend you to download all of them because the certificate for thing you can download later but once you move out of this page you won't be able to download public and private key again so download them and keep it in a safe place Next we are going to download root C certificate, go to Amazon page and you will see bunch of C certificates. I would recommend you to download the first one. That's the certificate. All we are going to do here is right click on that and save link as and save the certificate to somewhere on your computer. That's all. We have downloaded all our certificates and click on activate button. That will actually activate your certificate and now your thing is ready to use. But before that, uh, we need to uh, create a policy for the thing and attach that policy to the certificate. So let's do that. So from again, AWS IoT console page, you need to click on secure from the left hand menu then click on policies and click on create button from right top give a name to your policy let's say LED policy and then click on advanced mode and then paste your policy here I have listed the policy in the description section of this video so you can just copy and paste I kept it quite open but I would recommend you to change it make it more restrictive based on your needs but for this tutorial i'm just keeping it quite open okay so your policy has been created and now it's time to attach that policy to the certificate now go back to your thing click on security and you will see the certificate number click on that card Click on policies and then click on the action drop down and attach the policy. Select your policy, the policy we just created, which was LED policy. Just double check and 
check that policy and attach it. That's all you need to do to set up or configure your IoT thing. And one important thing, once you have done with creating your IoT thing, you need to know the host so you can configure your program which will be running on your Raspberry Pi and communicate with this particular thing. Click on interact and copy the URL. That's all guys. And next we'll jump to our Okay, now as we downloaded our certificate, it's time to copy them over to our Raspberry Pis. And if you can remember, we're going to use two different Raspberry Pi. So we're going to call one as Raspberry Pi A and the other one Raspberry Pi B. I'm going to rename the file uh, just for um, uh, sake of simplicity. So I don't need to remember the number and all those things. And it's more convenient uh, to use in the program. And once I'm done with renaming those certificates, I'm going to copy them over to a different folder from which I'm going to SCP all of them to our Raspberry Pi one at a time. So let's copy them and move it over to our, our project folder where I have the Python program as well. So we'll copy the certificates along with our Raspberry Pi, sorry, Python program. All right. So we have copied our certificates and you can see we have our two Python program. So now we're going to log into the Raspberry Pi. I'm using VNC viewer. Uh, that's a very handy tool. You can use that or you can simply ssh to your raspberry pi if you are uh, comfortable doing that it's up to you whatever you want but uh, i prefer vnc it's easy i think so okay now uh, once we are into our raspberry pi i'm going to create a new folder to keep our certificates and the program all right let's cd into that and list that okay so it's a new directory and nothing in there now we are going to move all the certificates and our python program to the raspberry pi you can use command line scp or you can use any other tool i'm going to use filezilla which is which is kind of a sftp tool or ftp tool so once we log into that on the right hand side uh, you are seeing the raspberry pi so you can see that was the folder we just created and then uh, on the left hand side we have our local directory i'm going to copy all the certificate first and copy them over to our first raspberry pi okay so once done i'm going to copy iot led python program because we are going to attach the led code to raspberry pi a or the first raspberry pi okay before copying that um i like you to take a look at the program and make some modification you have to do that so for example the thing name you have if you remember uh, we created the thing as named as led and we copied the host and um, then the certificate name so these are um, the things you have to change in your program when you will be running on your raspberry pi so i'm going to make those changes before i copy them over to the raspberry pi
Okay, save the file. Come over to FileZilla again and copy IoT LED dot py to the raspberry pi 1 all right so we have copied all three certificates and our python program we are all good man now we are going to log into the second raspberry pi and repeat the same process we'll copy all the certificates and we'll copy iot button.py because in the second raspberry pi we are going to attach the switch so before again like uh, copying over to the pi we are going to make all the necessary changes in our program as i said um, you have to change the aws iot think name and the anti oil certificate name private key name and once you are done with all the changes save the file go back to filezilla copy the program along with all the certificates to your second raspberry pi Okay, so I have logged into second Raspberry Pi. I'm going to create a new folder as I did in the previous Raspberry Pi. For simplicity, I'm going to keep exact same name. CD into that. It should be empty. Now again, as I did earlier, we'll repeat the same thing. First, in file zero, we log into the second Raspberry Pi. Select the folder and then copy them over to the Pi. So before we can run our python program we need to download a couple of libraries and we have to wire the hardware with the raspberry pi so let's get started i have logged into the first raspberry pi which is which will be connected to the led light we are going to the folder we created earlier okay just wanted to make sure uh, everything is as expected now i'm going to install python library for aws iot just pip install aws iot python sdk it's gonna take a couple of minutes so i fast forward the video you'll find all the description um rather all the details are uh, regarding different libraries and diagram in the video description so now uh, we need to wire the pieces with our raspberry pi uh, so this is the circuit diagram this is very simple and all you, you, you can see the led is connected to the breadboard and raspberry pi um, gpio pin 18 is connected to one end of the led and other end to the ground and that looks very simple just follow the diagram and you'll be able to set it up and once you do so all you need to do is python 3 iot led 
pi and I just did that and program is running so now I'm going to log into the second Raspberry Pi where uh, we're going to hook up the switch again the circuit diagram you'll find in the video description or in my blog post connect um, the GPIO pin and ground um, as explained in in the diagram or you can modify them but remember if you do so then you have to change the pin in your python program okay i'm going to install the library it's done and i already wired the hardware so all i need to do is run the python program python 3 iot button dot py hit enter okay so now both programs are running on different pies so you can see i have two raspberry pi i'm going to click or uh, press the button in one raspberry pi and you can see the led is turning on and off as i controlling the switch on a different pi so this is all actually happening so you can see on the left hand side we have a uh, raspberry pi a which is connected to the button when uh, i am pressing that button it actually changes the state of the iot shadow and it goes to the cloud the other pi actually listening to that shadow and it whenever there is any change it acts based on the state of the shadow now uh, i'm going to show it to the actual aws shadow state and you can actually see like state is changing so i'm going to log into aws console and going to the iot click on manage click on your thing and from the left menu you can see shadow click on that and you'll see uh states like desired state and reported state so desired state is basically when you want something to happen or make changes for our example uh, when we are pressing the button uh, we change the desired state and that actually goes to the second pi which turns on the LED and then change the reported state so you can see here as I press uh, lights are turning on and off and at the same time the reported state is changing so that's how two different Raspberry Pi can communicate with each other using AWS IoT. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.